Let's do an example where integration by parts does work, but in a kind of unusual way. I'm told this example is important because this integral appears in electrical engineering applications. I can't comment on that. It does appear in basically every calculus textbook, though. The integral of e to the x times the cosine of x. And at first blush, this does not seem very hopeful. Because whether we let u be e to the x, or u would be the cosine of x, du isn't any simpler than u. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of the cosine of x is the negative sine of x. So the key to integration by parts is that you ought to get simpler when we take the derivative. And that isn't happening here. Still, it's not clear what else we'd try. I selected u to be the cosine based on a like it. The t for trig appears before the e for exponential. Well, I don't know, or I do know, but it's, let's say it this way. It's not obvious to look at this so that it will work. But at the very least, computing du and v is an easy exercise. And we get that e to the x times the cosine of x dx equals u times v. minus the integral of v du. Take this negative sign, pull it out. e to the x times the cosine of x plus the integral of e to the x times the sine of x. So that's not good. This integral is not any easier to take than this integral. We have failed. Well, I know they say the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But let's try the same thing over again and see if we get a different result. Will that to you be the trig function? D of E be the exponential function? D U is the cosine of X. V equals E to the X. And this integral then is u v
e to the x times the sine of x minus the integral of v du. So that's not good. We're right back where we started. Except that now, let me write all of this down. e to the x times the cosine of x dx equals e to the x times the cosine of x plus this integral, so plus e to the x times the sine of x minus the integral of e to the x times the cosine of x dx. And what we are going to do is we are going to solve for this integral as if we were back in college algebra. We'll add this to both sides of the equality. And we find that two times this integral is e to the x times the cosine plus the sine. And therefore, this integral is one half e to the x times the cosine plus the sine. And there then is our integral. You can use the same trick to integrate e to the x times the sine of x.